I have some things coming up tomorrow that I'd like to talk about, but I feel like I should do that later! Hello guys and girls. Voices from the dark here. Eh, I may be in trouble. I want you to look at the skies behind me. Right there. Does those seem like, hey, we bring happy sunshine clouds? No, they seem like we're gonna mess up your day clouds. Lately the weather's been really unstable, like it's super hot. I'm sweating because of the sun, but then suddenly, boom, rain. But I said more regular vlogs, so I figured there are gonna be some events going on over the next couple of days that I might as well vlog about. First of all, today I'm getting a haircut, how exciting. You might say, well, it's not that long. True, but when it gets more fluffy than spiky, I know that some people really like it fluffy, but it's a hassle and it takes a lot more to keep it up. So I'm gonna go get a haircut, but I decided to just go for a walk while I was waiting, you know, just enjoy the scenery but that might be interrupted by rain fairly shortly, meaning I'll have to run back to civilization. Then I'm gonna get my hair cut, and then probably gonna go catch some more Pokemon. I've been playing some Pokemon Go lately. It's actually fun, like when I first heard of it, I thought it sounded very gimmicky and stupid, but I've gotten a lot out of it. Just like the joy of like wanting to go out and search for those Pokemon, especially like in the area I am, because I keep meeting other trainers as well and everybody is like gathering together like oh, I saw Cedra over here we got to find them and just I've socialized so much with people just like met up like t t taking shelter from the rain under like some uh, like a, a leaves trees close together like their leaves form a little roof from the rain so we were shielded we just sat there discussing Pokemon and then we went out together and ah it's so much fun so it's fun to see the Pokemon Go craze uh, sort of take over places. I'm Team Valor, so I would like to just come with my sincere apology to Team Mystic and Team Instinct. I'm sorry you chose the wrong team, but hopefully you're not too sad when we take over the world. I actually came here, this is like closer to where I originally lived and where I grew up. Every gym was Team Instinct and I was like, we got to do something. So I've been going around today with my Jinx army just claiming everything for Team Valor. It's probably not gonna hold very long since it was just me, but it's so much fun. So, I've been wanting to make videos on Pokemon Go, but it's a difficult, oh, there's some duckies over there. It's a difficult format in a way, because you need to see what's going on on my phone screen, but that means I can't record myself with my phone screen unless I'm gonna like constantly do vlog updates in between searching so the best thing would be to have somebody else film me but that means I need actual friends yeah that's not gonna happen <laughs> but yeah I would like to do some content maybe sometime in the future I can find some way because I don't know it's fun it's fun maybe it's just a fad but at least for now it's doing a lot for me it's just giving me incentive to go out be social have fun. I'm getting up early in the morning just so I can go out and catch them all. It's just... Ah, it's lovely. I'm gonna stay here and see if the rain comes, and if it does, I'm gonna run. If not, I'm gonna wait out the time until my hair appointment, and then this is gonna be shorter. Whee! Actually, let's go find those duckies. Oh. Whoa, whoa. The duckies were on land earlier. I guess they went into the water. They were like, nah, he's vlogging. I'm shy, I'm camera shy. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Are you related to hats? Any comments? Any, no. Okay. Well, hope you all get hit by lightning, you bastards. And so, the rain came. I saw the sky being lit up. And then I waited a few seconds. And then it went boom. So I should probably head on out of here. Unfortunately, I have to wear a hood. And that messes up the floof. Life's hard. But when it's shorter, I don't have to mess up the floof. And that's my argument for why I should cut it. Let's get going. Yeah. So, uh... I should probably get going, like right now, like faster, maybe run, 
<laughs> like when I was walking here, like not even 30 minutes ago, I was dying in the heat. It was so hot, I was like, uh, uh. And now I have to wear a jacket. It's raining. Thanks, Norway, for this beautiful summer. I, the weather's just gonna get worse from here on today, if the weather report is right. So that's gonna be great. I have some things coming up tomorrow that I'd like to talk about, but I feel like I should do that later. Well, this is great. This is very great. This is super great. This is so much fun. I probably should have headed back earlier, but it was so quaint and nice there. Now there's water all over the screen. Oops. Okay. Didn't commentate on the subway because obvious is obvious. But here we go. So, you know, it's not a lot shorter, it's just a little shorter on the sides, which is good, and then just maintaining the main the main piece here. Maybe you can't even see a big difference, but it, I feel, I feel the difference. So, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna go home and probably make some videos. Now, what I was gonna talk about earlier before thunder came is that tomorrow I'm actually meeting up with an old classmate. So a few months back I found out that one of the people that I had gone to middle school with had actually had a YouTube channel, had recently started a YouTube channel where he like does fitness and things and I checked it out and I was like, I was honestly surprised. I was like, I was shocked that he hadn't done it for a long time because, well first of all his English, super good, his content really good, the audio quality, the, the video quality, everything. I was really impressed. And he hit me up like yesterday or something and he proposed a collaboration video where he would take me to like a gym and like do some fitness things because obviously I'm not really a person who does, who works out a lot. I work out occasionally and I've started jogging but like just straight up fitness is not something I've done. So I agreed, you know, I was going a bit back and forth, should I, shouldn't I, but I decided that in the end, it's best to do it, you know? It's a, it's a new experience, it's a new adventure. So that's going to be filmed tomorrow. Uh, and, well, I'm a little nervous, but overall I just feel like it can be a fun, uh, a fun experience. And then later that day, I've actually joined the Pokemon Go group for Norway. And somebody was like, hey, should we go like on a little Pokemon hunt on Thursday? I'm like, yeah, sure. So. Probably gonna go do that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog a lot of it, but if something happens underway and we try to catch something legendary that we come across, we'll let you know. So, actually having some social plans. That's rare for me. And that makes me relatively excited. <laughs> now let's just hope the weather gets better. Because I'd really like to not chase Pokemon around in the rain. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep finding Squirtles. This park, Squirtle and Drowsy Central. You can't find anything. Actually, you can find a lot of things, but I feel like I've caught almost everything you can get in this park. I got a Psyduck and a Hypno yesterday, and I got a Paris earlier today. And I've been able to get an Abra and a Clefable. It's been a, a good catch today, but I think I'm gonna go back inside. So, uh, yeah. Peace! So that was crazy and probably something I should have recorded. I was just sitting in my room, chilling, considering what to record. I checked Pokemon Go. It says that an Electabus is nearby. I sprint out of the house. It's a Pokemon that I haven't collected yet and that I feel is a bit rarer than your average Pidgey. So I just, I ran out and I like huh, started going back and forth. It's sort of like a hot and cold system and you're like, okay, I'm getting farther away. Go back, go over here. I did that for a while. And after a while I started getting closer when I walked in a certain direction and I stopped by the fence of a kindergarten. And I was like, Okay, it says that the Electabus is right nearby, but I don't necessarily want to be seen breaking into a kindergarten. So I decided to just like sort of walk around the fence and try to not look like a total creeper. And eventually, boom, he appeared. Electabus himself, he was about level 400 CP. And I just gave him a raspberry, I threw out a ball and I caught him on my first try. That was, 
That was fun. That was great. It's those little moments of joy you feel when you play Pokemon Go. So now he will be added to my collection. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. And I still think I'm holding the Poke Gym that I took earlier today that I told you about back at my, my, home, my home place. And when I was on the way back, I saw that there had been more Team Valor people who had been reinforcing it. So good job. Good job, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, so a new Pokemon has appeared on the map. This time it's a Nido Reno. We're gonna get it. Also, I found out that we lost a Pokemon gym that I had taken. It's not a surprise though, because we were like two people holding it down, but it just felt good taking it from those instinct bastards. <sighs> but this Nido Reno, I'm gonna hunt for five more minutes, and if I don't get any closer, I'll give up. It sucks to give up on a Pokemon that you don't have yet, but. There will be more chances, sure. Okay, so the bad news is that I didn't get to need a Reno, but while I was chasing it, I actually started going into the more city-like area because I saw a Meowth. So I went after Meowth and boom, got it. Then I saw a Poliwag, boom, got it. And with the Voltorb that I also got, I feel like that's a much better catch than I would have had if I just went down and got need a Reno and back inside, but now, I need to stop getting sidetracked by all this Pokemon hunting and actually sit down. I have some time home alone now and that's nice because that means I can do Corpse Party. Because that's a game that requires you to be loud and scream and cry and all sorts of great emotions. So I can let those out in peace. So let's go. Well then, I'm all set to record. Got my phone behind me, be magical. And you might notice that I'm using a rather... This isn't the most impressive headset, but it's pretty much what I use in like 99% of my gameplay videos, simply because I like them. They're not a big obstruction. They're not like, boom, boom. Some people love big headphones, but I honestly don't. Okay, well, here's what I see at the moment. Everything is bathed in an orange light because of, uh, well, reasons. So as you can see, here's Adobe Edition picking up on my audio. I got fraps. Here's my little Mikey Mikey with double pop filter. They pop. They 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 actually don't pop. They do the opposite. My webcam. And of course, I got the game I'm playing here. I'm playing Corpse Party on an emulator. So we're gonna sit down and do that since now I finally had the time. Yes. And I've actually gotten my HD PVR2 set up. And that's connected to my PlayStation 3 up here. So now I can actually finally play the Sly games. And it's going to be wonderful, and I can get the footage needed to make Retro Replay. And here's some of my books and games. Hey, good times. I'm reading a feast, a feast for crows, so that's why it's there. All right, let's do this. Game time. Video is complete. I was actually quite happy with it. It turned out okay, and the, the, par the party and music. No, the, the music in Corpse Party it's just so funky, you just sit there like do 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 So I was gonna go and sit down and edit right now, but I was actually messaged by mom or called and she was like, hey, do you wanna go out and eat? And I'm like, sure, so I'm gonna go do that. And that's hopefully gonna be fun, but on the way, I'm probably gonna find more Pokemans. He he he. Why am I still awake? I have no idea. I gotta be up tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. And after the dinner, I was pretty much just shot. I was really tired, so I went to bed at like before 9 p.m. But I slept for like 90 minutes and then woke up. And then I haven't been able to sleep since. It's been just hours of being awake and not being able to sleep which sucks because I know that I'm gonna need energy tomorrow I have the whole gym thing and then I also have the Pokemon Go hunt if we're gonna do it I mean it's raining on and off constantly and it has been for the last few days so maybe the weather will be too bad but hey you can get an umbrella keep catching them so yeah, that's pretty much been Wednesday. 
Lots of Pokemon Go hunting, mostly. And we'll do that tomorrow too. It's just a fun little thing. Well, I'm gonna try sleeping. I mean, I always am, but I just can't seem to manage. But this time, I will be successful in my endeavor. So, thanks for joining me today.